and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So as I discussed uh, earlier that generalization of change of integrals from one order to another in the generalized form, right? But now in this video we will be uh, going to discuss about an example based on the change of order of integration, okay? So here we go. Here's a question. So what we can do here, first of all, the first step is find out which limit is for which variable. Then find out, figure out which equation is it about. Is it equation of parabola, equation of circle, what is it? Then write down the new limit and then integrate it according to double integral rule. Okay, so let's begin. You can see that this is, the, this is in the form of x. So this is the limit for y. And rest is for x. So limit for x is 0, is moving from 0 to 4a. And limit for y is from x squared by 4a to 2 root ax. So if y is equal to x squared by 4a, that means x squared will become 4ay, right? And if y is equal to 2 root ax, then y square is equal to 4ax. You can, it can easily be observed that this is an equation of, these are the equations of parabolas. So, because this is odd power of y, so this is symmetrical to y axis. It should be touched with origin. Oh. And this is y square is equals to 4x. Okay? Now, find out the point of intersection. Point of intersection will be solve these two equations. If you see the x square is equals to 4ay, so x square is equals to 4a. If you put the value of y as 2 root ax, and squaring both sides to remove the root, x raised to the power 4, 4 times 4 is 16, a square, 4ax, right? So x raised, this will be cancelled, x cube will be 16 times 4, 64, a cube, x will be 4a. And if you substitute 4a here, 4a into 4a, so y will be 4a. So the point of intersection is 4a comma 4a, right? Now, coming to the new limits, but before that we should know that in which region the uh, strip is lying. So, you can see that this is the limit in terms of x. So this will be parallel to y-axis, right? So parallel to y-axis, this initial limit is parallel to y-axis. Now you want to make a new limit which will be because you want to change the order of integration. So that should be reciprocal. I mean because initial it was vertical so now it should be horizontal. So new limit for x Now, new limit for x, you can see that x is moving from this curve to this curve, right? For this curve, equation is y square by 4a. And for this curve, x is equal to root 2ay. I mean, 2 should be out. Okay, 2 root ay. Now, limit for y is y, you can see that it is moving for, uh, because it, this, this part, it is moving from 0 to 4a. Because this is the point of intersection, but leading from 0. Okay. Now, these are the new limits. Substitute this into the previous form. So, now, always remember, you have to put your constant term first. So 0 to 4a. Now you might be thinking of that why we are putting here even if we have already changed the order. Because we will then change the order for this. Let me tell you how. 
So 0 to 4a, rest is y square by 4a to 2 root ay. Okay. Now change the order. dy dx. So you know how to solve this. This is now your new limit, new order. How to solve it? Now this, because this is in terms of y, in terms of y, so this is the limit for x. So firstly solve integration of dx, which is x limit from y square by 4a to 2 root a y. Rest limit is still there. Okay. So, integration of dx is x. Now, putting down the values, upper limit minus lower limit. So, upper minus y square by 4a, lower limit. Okay. Moving from 0 to 4a, dy. If you solve this, you let me apple tester. So, in order to solve this, I'm just writing down the previous equation from here. Now solve it. So, 2 root a is constant. For root y, I can write down root y as y raised to power 1 by 2, right? What you can do, add 1 and divide with the resultant 3 by 2, okay? So it will be 2 by 3 y raised to power 3 by 2 minus it will be y cube by 3, correct? And 4a is still there, limit 0 to 4a, okay? Now, this is 4 by 3 root a y raised to power 3 by 2 minus y cube by 12a limit 0 to 4a upper limit in place of y. So 4a raised to power 3 by 2 minus 4a cube by 12a. Lower limit is 0. So you don't need to there is no need to put it. Now, 4 by 3 root a. If you see what is it? 4a raised to power 3 by 2. So it is 4 4a raised to power 3 and that is the whole power 1 by 2 which is root. Right? So you can write it like 4 you can 4 a whole cube. Correct? Minus 4a whole cube by 12a. So this 4a whole cube will be 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 64a cube, 12a. Now, if you solve this, 64, 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 64a cube, it will be cancelled, 64a square by 12. Now you can bring 64 out, which will be 8. This is root a. You can take, you can split it into a square into a. So a square can be out as a into root a, right? You can uh, simply divide it with 4. 4, 1, 4, 4, 6, 24. 4 times 3 is this. Okay. Root a into a. Root a into root a. a. So, 8 times 4, 32 by 3, a into a, a square, 32 minus 16 is 8, mm, sorry, 6, 12 minus 6 is 6, 2 minus 1 is 1, 16 by 3, a square, okay? So, this is how we can solve or change the order for integration. I hope you understand this video. If you got this concept, then please don't uh, forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. We will discuss rest of the topics in our next videos. Till then, take care. Bye.